Time for some fishing tips. Jason Homer of Bass Utopia joins us. And everybody talks about frogs. They say frogs are a lot of fun. What makes these things so much fun to fish with? Well, Jim, the first thing that people love about frogs is that it's a topwater bait. So when you're on a pattern that fish are uh, hitting the frogs, you're getting fish basically coming out of the water. It's one of the most exciting strikes in bass fishing and fishing in general is anytime you get a fish on topwater feeding, it's always an exciting, uh, exciting night on the lake. What I, what I like to do out of the package with these frogs is the legs are quite a bit longer. I like to trim them back about an inch and, and kind of offset them. You'll see that the, the frog legs are different lengths here. Right. And the reason for that is it'll, it'll knock the frog just a little bit off balance. When you're pulling that frog through the, through the lily pads or whatever the vegetation is, it's going to make it rock back and forth like this a little bit as it's popping through. More realistic, obviously. Yep, more realistic. It's going to cause more vibration going down through the, through the pads. So you're going to end up with something that's going to maybe catch the fish's attention a little bit better. So a couple really key things when you're fishing a frog is you want a stout rod. The rod I got Jim uh, using here is a seven foot heavy rod. So it's going to have a lot of backbone on the rod uh, to really horse those fish out. And then we've got 60 pound braid line on here. So obviously, You're saying I can't break it? Uh, well, based on what I've seen so far, you probably could give it a run, but um, no, but this, this line's gonna be really, really stout. When you get a fish down in the weeds, you're really gonna be able to bring it out before they get down and really bury themselves in the weeds, and then we're, then we're gonna be elbow deep for digging your fish out, so let's try not to do that. There's one. Oh, you got him. There we go. There, that's a good frog fish. Look how fat he is living in the, living in the pads like that. He's got a pretty beat up tail. Eating good on some of those dragonflies, frogs, sunfish, they're swimming around in there. There you go, just like that. 